So in the last class, uh, we created that employee class and I had employee test. I made some small modifications here. Uh, see, I just did the part of clean up the comments and all and I just have the test class. Now, <clears throat> we are studying about a concept called packages. What do you mean by packages? A package means a folder in Java. A package means a folder in Java. So why do you need folders? So why do you have folders in your system? Let's say uh, I have some folders here. Uh, just imagine, let's say instead of having the movies and what? Uh, different, whatever the movies are there. Let's say I'll copy and paste all the movies here. Or uh, let's say if I have a songs folder, instead of having what? Uh, different song, uh, let's have all the songs here. Or here itself. It doesn't look nice, isn't it? We want to have an what? Different uh, folders. Why? Why do we want to have different folders? Is to what? Keep the things well organized so that easily it is accessible to me. Suppose if I want to access a games, I'll go to games folder. Uh, I won't play games. Suppose if I want to access songs, I'll go to that folder. If I want to watch some seasons, I would go to what? Uh, season folder or uh, something as such. So now, because I have organized the folders like this, it becomes easy for me to navigate. So I can say the investment on maintenance would come down. In what way? Uh, say if everything we are just copying to one folder, tomorrow if I decide to organize, again that is an investment on the maintenance. And again, uh, if I got a new movie or songs, I will straight away navigate to the right folder and I would what? Uh, paste my um, songs into that. So when I say investment will come down, I literally mean it. Even, you know, when you start working on a project and if you don't keep your classes in a proper packages, so then what happens? In future, when something need to be changed or something need to be upgraded, the navigation becomes difficult. They are, they will not be able to navigate well. <clears throat> so because of this, the cost involved on maintenance goes high. So in order to keep things well organized, we need packages. Uh, remember we studied something called cohesion uh, what is cohesion keeping the related code in related methods and related methods in related class now just one more level of cohesion that is related classes in related packages say for example employee class i want to move it to a package called hr that makes sense isn't it so how do i do that I'll say package HR. So this is the way to tell Java compiler and Java virtual machine that my employee class belongs to a package called HR. Same way, test I want to keep it in a package called test. So let's I'll say package test. So we are saying that the class test belongs to a new package called test. So now, how do we uh, create an instance of instance and employee class in test when they are in two different packages? Okay, now guys, see here. Uh, when you are working on packages, I want you to make everything as public. So I'll make this as public. Now, why you should make it as public? Simple reason. If you do not make the class employee public, by default public access specifier or modifier is not applied to this class. So what is the default specifier or modifier which is applied? Okay, that name is surprise. So now, for now, I, I want you to uh, flawlessly go ahead about the packages uh, assignment and practice. So just make everything as public. I will teach you in depth about all the access specifiers and modifiers in that particular chapter. So constructors, constructors are already public, so method is already public. Okay, to make it simple, if you do not make it as public, then it will not be accessible outside the package. That means test belongs to a different package, it will not be accessible here. Okay now, so to create the instance of employee, so I'll go here and I'll say employee like I used to do, emp equal to new employee. Let's use we have one constructor which accept Jack. Sparrow. Now see, 
this was all right when test was not into any package and employee is also not into any package in that case by default what happened there will be a package called default itself and there will be what belonging to the same package it will work fine but now the address of employee has changed the employee now belongs to a package called hr say suppose um, so let's assume your name is rahul so if you are here in my studio i would say rahul come here suppose if you are in reception now the address of rahul that is you has changed so i'll say reception dot rahul come here so what we should call now hr dot employee and here also here also i have to say hr dot employee because that also requires complete address to be specified suppose if i do not specify what happens let us go for compiling let us i will say java c space now one more thing when you are working with the packages give both the file names this dot java employee dot java you can see that i am precisely getting one error there that not able to find you no know, class employee so let us go and add uh, this package now let us compile it is compiling through now as you can see here it created employee.class and test.class. So let me also open this in an what GUI and show you. So this is the folder where I am in actually in a folder called packages. It's not necessary that you have to be in that folder only. It can be in any folder. So I compiled it generated employee.class and test.class. Now the question is how do I execute? So should I say Java space test directly? Can I do that? See, you have to understand. Now the address of test also has changed. The test class test belongs to a package called test. So what I should do, I should say, if I say like this, I'll get an error. But if I say like this, then also I'll get an error. Why? Reason is simple. We are saying test dot test. I told you package means a folder. But the question is, do you have a folder called test? Obviously no. So let me create one folder called test package means a folder. I'll take this employee class. I'll move into this. Now one more thing you have to understand. Employee class belongs to HR package. So I have to create another folder called HR. Let me not move this one. Just let me go here and try to compile what execute again. So it says no class definition found in HR folder is looking for a class called employee class not found exception so what shall we do now so obviously i'll move employee class into this now you see this if i execute java space test dot test i'm getting the output okay there is there is no output statement here so let's add one output statement let's say emp dot id let's quickly compile now see this a brand new class files are created with the modified code so what i should do again take it move into appropriate things so earlier i already copied so i'll say replace and test to test i'll say replace now i come back to my console and i will execute this i'm getting the output so this is a simple introduction to packages now let's go further and make some more modification. So let's say here, um, let's say HR is a module belongs to a package called employee management system, a software called EMS. So you can keep it organized like this EMS.HR and EMS can have more packages like inventory, library or something like that. Now employee management system is developed in a company called Philite. I'll say Philite.EMS.HR. Now, Philite is a commercial company. So, I'll say com.philite. See, this is important. I'm not just teaching you packages, but I'm telling you in the real world as a real developer, what is the convention I use for naming a package? Say, for example, for example, if you go to play.google.com slash store slash apps here, so pick up any what? Uh, any of the apps. Let's take GoDaddy. You see here how they name their package com dot go daddy dot mobile dot android even in fact we have few apps uh -huh. 
let's say fillet is going to flight let's put a double quote and search good so let's say fillet job alerts you see this com dot fillet dot job alerts so like this if you go to any app if you go to any app okay let's check youtube com dot google dot android dot youtube so com is indicates that it is an um, commercial company company name and sub module in that and the basically they are using something like in that sub module or an app name so i guess you got an idea uh, why i am organize this in this way let's also go ahead and modify this com dot fillet dot ems dot test but now the address of employee has changed again what we should do now com dot fillet dot ems dot hr dot employee and again complete address should be specified here so this is not you know uh, convenient isn't it so java developers has given us one more thing called import statement import it now what happens since you have imported employee class in test you no need to specify the complete address here and one more thing if you remember i told you to make everything as public but i haven't made the test as public isn't it uh, the reason it's still working fine is because we are not accessing test in employee but we are accessing employee in test so that need to be public whether you make it as public or not as you wish but by convention generally you should keep it as public so we did the import statement let's go ahead and compile again let me minimize this let me also keep it side by side now here if i say uh, these are old packages so i'll delete them off now let's compile again java c test.java employee.java it created two classes now what we should do next we have to create a folder called com inside that we have to create a folder called fillet inside that ems inside that hr and test two folders and then we have to copy employee.class to hr package hr folder and test to test folder but again we think that you know um, so that's too much right how we can expect someone to what create that level of folders and copy and paste so let's do one thing let's ask java compiler to do this how by using a switch called iphone d iphone d means destination we are asking the java compiler that dude what are the binaries you generate put it to this destination which destination you have to tell so here we can give an path like d colon slash temp or your binaries or something like that but i'll simply say dot what do you mean by dot let me explain it to you there's a pwd here i mean this users benign over directory if i say cd dot 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 means parent directory again i'll print the working directory you see i mean users see these commands you should not try in your windows it's in your windows like that itself show you the path wherever you are now if i say cd dot what happens again i'll print the current working directory i'm still in users so the dot points to current directory so if i say dot here i'm telling him that whichever the directory i mean there itself you generate the binary which is this so now let me just say enter so what happened now you see he created com fillet ems hr dot employee dot class test class test dot class how to execute java space see again the address of test has changed com dot fillet dot ems dot test dot test and say enter is it clear so there's no shortcut for this once you have typed the command you can use upper arrow if you want to execute again clear any doubts questions so now uh, let me explain you few remaining things of packages if i have more than one class belongs to hr package i can import all of them by saying star so in this case 
you know my same exact thing will work see let me recompile with i fund e execute is all right but if i say star year you should not assume that the classes belongs to the sub package and uh, its sub package everything gets imported it's not when you say ems dot star if you have any class belongs to com dot fill dot ems like this only those classes gets imported but not the classes belongs to sub package so if you want the sub package classes belong to sub package to be imported then you have to say hr dot star like this so if that was the case if it was possible then would have always said import star isn't it now in java one package can contain one or more sub package let's say com can contain fillet flamboyance cover record like that many packages and sub package contain more sub packages and classes so this can go to infinity so that's all about the packages uh, there's assignment below this video and also the notes please copy it and upload the assignments